Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is gonna be super fun. I'm introducing you to a new line of lipstick, a new brand, and I will be doing swatches of them and kind of like a first impressions of how I like the formula. This brand is really, really awesome. I was sent these through Octoly, which means I had to apply to do a review for them. And what really drew me to them and made me want to work with this brand is number one, they're cruelty free, certified with Leaping Bunny, which is amazing. No animals were harmed or tested on in the making of these products. And they also empower women. Not only are the lipstick shades like awesome, like empowering names, like I am powerful. Like that's literally the name of this one lipstick. And they donate 20% of their profits to the American Association of University Women or AAUW, which is really awesome. And an excerpt from their website says, that all of our products are inscribed with empowering quotes to remind you every day that you are unique, that you are awesome, that you are loved, and that you are everything you ought to be just the way you are. And reading that, I like wanted to cry. I was like, thank you. And they also have a natural formula that is free of chemicals that are oftentimes found in lip products like lead and phthalates and talc and all the crap you don't want. And they have shea butter jojoba seed oil, macadamia oil, and vitamin E, so they're very moisturizing. These are their moisturizing lipsticks, and they are described as having a soft matte finish with a slight gloss, so that sounds really pretty. I love matte finishes. So the brand is called Real Her, and you can buy these off of their website or on Amazon or a few other sites. I also saw them on Groupon for really, really cheap, but the coupon wasn't going on right now. I'm not really sure how Groupon works, so that was a thing. So I have five lipsticks by them. They're moisturizing lipsticks, and we are going to swatch them. I have not tried these yet. I just put a little powder over my lips because I had oil on them from taking off the lip color I was wearing before. Jeffree Star always does that. He says to like powder your lips in between lip swatches, so I'm gonna try that out today. So the boxes are just this nice black packaging and their logo is kind of hard to read because it is also black. So this is what the box looks like. That's their little logo there. And they're all shrink wrapped and they have the shade name on the side. So I'm gonna unshrink wrap these and we will go from lightest to darkest. So this looks like the lightest shade called I Love Myself, which is awesome. Like. It's nice to hear things like that like throughout the day. There's reaching in your purse to touch up your lipstick. That's awesome. Ooh, that's so cute. Double colored lipstick with their logo on the top. It says Real Her on it. And it just has the little shade name on the side inscribed in there. Ooh, a chunky little square base. And then it has their logo right here. And it has their logo inscribed right there, so. Let's swatch the shade. You can finally do close-ups and be in focus on this camera. I hope this looks good. My battery is giant, so I hope we can do these in time. This leans really peachy on me. Um, on the picture of this in the tube I saw online, it seemed to look more pinky. Um, I think there's another pink shade in this set, but it does have a slight gloss to it. I wouldn't really call this a matte, but it looks really natural. It's definitely kind of like a cream finish and it's kind of accentuating my lip lines on my bottom lip. I don't really go for colors like this because nudes are scary to me, but this is really pretty. I could definitely wear this to class or like on an everyday basis and not look terrifying. So it's a pretty pinky peachy color and it's really comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing like lip balm or something. So again, that is I love myself. So in between, I'm just removing the lipstick with the Garnier Micellar Water and then kind of rubbing off the excess oils with a tissue and then I powdered over it. And I'm not even using lip balm, which is what I usually do. So what's the lip color we we'll start with? So this next lightest one seems to be I Define Beauty Myself, which I just love these names. It's so nice. Like, enough with like the over-sexualized makeup names. Like, yes, it's funny, but like, I'd rather start seeing more things like this. You know what I mean? That spreads positivity just by looking at your makeup collection. Boxes are wicked hard to open. I don't know what it is, but I'm like ripping them apart. So again, this packaging is awesome. Ooh, this looks like the nudie pink I was thinking about. This looks really pretty. I feel like I'm definitely going to like this. It's so cute how they're 
have the logo carved into the side. I love that. So this is I Define Beauty Myself. I really like this shade. This is more something I would go for. It reminds me of kind of a darker version of MAC Angel. Um, really pretty, kind of a cool tone. Neutral pink, definitely everyday wearable. I really like this. I feel like the um, size of the actual lipstick itself is smaller than other lipsticks. Let's compare. This is just a Milani. I feel like it's slimmer. Yeah, it totally is because it feels really easy to apply and get into detailed areas. I'm putting a lot of products on my mouth to like take off the products in between, but these have a kind of pleasant, slight natural scent or taste to them. I don't know, I can't really tell. <laughs> so I got a lot of darker colors in like berry and red selection. So I will pick the more berry one next, which is Women Rule the World. And these are three and a half grams or 0.12 ounces each. You're wondering about size. Ooh, this is like a more of a hot pink than a berry. I like this. Wow, this one is really pigmented and bright. Definitely more opaque than the last few. It seems less glossy. Well, obviously, it still does have a gloss and a sheen to it, but it seems, I don't know, a little more on the matte side. Definitely more opaque. A lot of coverage on this. On the first swipe, you can really see. So again, women rule the world. Really pretty. Kind of like a Barbie pink, but more updated for fall because it's more of a very deeper tone. So, oh. This is so pigmented and bright. They don't really have much of a smell. Like hardly anything. So if you like unscented lip products, these will work for you. Oh my goodness gracious, my battery just died for my new camera and I assumed that the battery charger for my old camera, which was literally a half step below it, would work because my new one didn't come with a battery charger and they're different batteries. So I, I have a dead camera and I need to order a charger and I did not realize that at all whatsoever. So I'm continuing on my old camera. I'm sorry if the colors changed and the background isn't blurry anymore, but I really want to finish swatching these because we have two colors left and I'm really excited to try them out. So the next one is Be Yourself, Be Real Her. And I also dropped my favorite powder and it shattered everywhere, so that's fun. I kind of wish these had a little color sticker on the bottom like the boxes have on the side because when I'm going to store these all next to each other. By the way, these look so cute all together. Oh my gosh, standing up there would be so cute, but I'm not going to remember which name is which unless I wear them like a ton. Ooh, this is a really pretty like frosted red color. This looks like it would definitely be a matte finish, just looking at the finish of the actual product. So this one, again, is so pigmented. This one's really lacquery, despite what I just said about it being matte. It's so shiny. It's like a deeper but true red. This is so pretty. This is going to be a go-to for a lot of people for fancy events. This one felt a lot thicker, and like I feel like I would want some either lip primer if you use that or like chapstick underneath because it felt a little weird without chapstick underneath because it is thicker, but it's very comfortable to wear. All these are very moisturizing. You don't really feel like you're wearing any product besides lip balm. So that's really awesome. I'm really liking these so far. I will have the places where you can buy these linked down below. And I feel like this would be a good teeth whitening shade for a lot of people. So especially in this lighting, they're gonna make your teeth look really white. So this is really nice. Classic right here. This is gonna be a go powder. It's such a long life ahead of it still. I hate when they come loose from the paints and it makes it impossible to put your brush in. So 
So that last one was very pigmented and obviously dark, so it did leave a lot of staining around my mouth, so excuse that. And this is the last shade I'll be swatching today called I Am Powerful. I'm sure they have more shades than just these five, but these were the ones I was sent, and obviously there's a whole bunch of variety in this bundle, so it's been really fun to play with so far. Also, I meant to mention this earlier, I'm wearing my lipstick shirt again. Thank goodness for lipstick. And I, <laughs> I seem to wear a lot of lipstick themed shirts when I'm doing lipstick videos. I've actually made a whole lipstick playlist because I've done so many like swatch videos at this point in time of like different collections. Like I've done the Hard Candy Fierce Effects, the Red Burlesque brand of lipsticks. Um, I've done like favorite lipsticks for a bunch of different seasons, summer and fall, and just, I love lipstick. I do first impressions of it all the time, liquid, normal, you name it, I love it. So I made a whole playlist, you can check that out, check out some of my other lipstick trying videos, <laughs> I will link them down below. So let's get on to our last shade, I Am Powerful. Oh, look at that. All these, this one and the last one have almost like mauve undertones. This looks like a really pretty wine color. So yeah, it doesn't want to go on the inner part of my lip. I don't know. Maybe it's disagreeing with the makeup remover I used. I'm having the hardest time getting a good shape with this one, so excuse how messy this swatch is, but oh, this is so pretty glossy, pretty winey red color. Little brownie undertones, little witchy. Mm, very lacquery. So I definitely feel like these lipstick tips are a little smaller and they allow you to get into areas, but it also takes a little longer to coat your lips because they are smaller. I feel like you really have to like go in and draw. Like, I don't know, it just feels different than a typical lipstick shape, but I do like these a lot. Again, they're super comfortable. This lacquery is really going to be cool with the whole glossy lip trend coming back and people straying away from matte lips for a little bit. They're probably going to transfer like any regular lipstick would. Oh yeah, baby. Perfect kiss print. So not too much of a matte finish in my opinion. They're not really gonna dry down. They're your typical creamy lipstick, but they are super comfortable. Love that they're cruelty free. They're pretty affordable as far as lipstick goes. I mean, I've been trying out like $20 liquid lipsticks lately. So this feels a lot more inexpensive to me. I think they were like $12, $13 in most places I looked. And how cute do these look all together? Oh my goodness. So thanks so much to the company for sending me these to review. If you are looking for a review of these, I hope this was helpful. Oh, I dropped one. I hope this was helpful and you got to see what they look like on my pale face. Or if you had never heard of them before, I hope I could tell you about a new fun brand. I like to introduce new ones that support good causes here on my channel. And I really love what this brand is all about. So I'm happy I could do a review for them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was fun to watch for you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know what other lipstick collections you might want to see swatches of or any video requests you may have. Be sure to subscribe and join the Glam Bam fam. And check out my second vlogging channel for fun videos from trips I go on and special events and stuff like that. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought and which color was your favorite and I'll see you in my next video three two one bam